Hi, everyone. I'm Matt Clark, Research Analyst for Money and Markets here with your weekly Marijuana Market Update. Today, I'm going to respond to a viewer who asked me to analyze two very popular cannabis stocks. But now, before I get into that, remember, if you do have a question about a cannabis stock or the broader market, you can email me. My email address is feedback at moneyandmarkets.com. We'll put that right down below. If we use your question in an upcoming video, you're going to get some very cool Money and Markets gear like hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, all sorts of great stuff. So just submit a question to feedback at moneyandmarkets.com, or you can comment down below here on our YouTube channel. And if you uh, do that and we use it, we're going to send you some very cool Money Markets gear. Also, uh, make sure you do subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notified each and every time we post up a new video. And I'd encourage you to check out moneyandmarkets.com. On our website, you can search our proprietary stock power rating system uh, and get the ratings of thousands of stocks. You'll see a breakdown of fundamental and technical ratings that make up the overall stock rating. Uh, just go to moneymarkets.com in the top right hand corner uh, of the home page. You'll be able to type in a ticker or a company uh, and uh, you'll be able to pull up its rank, uh, that company's ranking, uh, fundamental data, any analysis we publish, it's all at your fingertips. Uh, you can build your own watch list, track performance, and you can do all that for free at moneyandmarkets.com. Now on with today's update. Shalom sent me an email recently. He said, I'm a subscriber of your YouTube channel and I'm a big fan. It's the first time I'm emailing you at suggestion by the end of your videos. I will much, much appreciate it if you will do a video analyzing True Leave and Green Thumb Industries and preferably even compare the two and give your take. Now, Shalom goes on to mention that he owns and believes in both companies. He's not looking for a recommendation, just wants my thoughts. Well, Shalom, thank you for your question. And I would love to dive into both of these companies for you. Uh, True Leave, which trades over the counter, the ticker symbol is TCNNF, operates as a medical cannabis company and produces flour, edibles, uh, vape cartridges, concentrates, and other forms of cannabis. It operates about 162 dispensaries in Florida, Pennsylvania, Arizona, California, Maryland, Massachusetts, West Virginia, and Connecticut. A majority of those dispensaries, about 113 of them, are located right here in Florida, where the company is based. Uh, it is the largest dispensary operator in the Sunshine State. Now, Green Thumb Industries, which trades over the counter as well, its ticker symbol is GTBIF, distributes both medical and adult use cannabis, including flour, pre rolls, concentrates, vapes, and edibles. The company operates about 77 retail stores across the US, mainly on the East Coast, and is based in Chicago. Now, GTBIF has a market capitalization of about $2.1 billion, while TCNNF is slightly larger with a market cap of $2.5 billion. And one thing to note, I'm going to get into this in a little bit, both companies have increased their annual sales in each of the last five years. Now, we can start off by looking at my cannabis power rating system. Uh, both stocks, as you can see, rate in the red overall. True Leaf scores a 30 overall, while Green Thumb scores a 36. The biggest difference here comes on the momentum factor. Green Thumb is, uh, is a 32, and it scores slightly higher than True Leave, which is at a 25. Both are relatively equal on value. Uh, True Leave scores a neutral 59. Green Thumb also scores a neutral 58. Now let's break down those value metrics and kind of get a little deeper dive into it. I like to like I like to look at price to ratios here because uh, this gives a, a nice accurate picture of the value of the stock overall. Green Thumb has a high price to earnings value uh, ratio of 21.83. Uh, the NA that you see next to TrueLeave indicates that the stock trades with a negative price to earnings ratio, uh, meaning that it doesn't really make much in the way of profit. And I'm going to tell you more about that in a bit as well. Green Thumb does have a slightly better price to sales ratio at 2.28. Greenleaf uh, has a PS ratio of 2.36. TrueLeave does have a better price to book value ratio at 1.19. Green Thumb is at 1.3. So in essence, really, when you look at that, um, these two companies are pretty equal in terms of value. Uh, they're even in price to sales and price to book value. Green Thumb does have a high price to earnings ratio, uh, whereas Truly doesn't have one at all, or it's actually negative. Now, we can overlay the two stock uh, price movements uh, uh, charts over top of each other and kind of see where each one of these stocks have moved over the last 12 months. And we can see that they've moved relatively together for the most part. True Leave is priced slightly higher and has seen higher highs than Green Thumb over the last 12 months. During that time, True Leaf has, draw True Leaf has dropped about 63.7%, while Green Thumb has declined 69%. So in examining our pa cannabis power rating system metrics in depth, these companies are pretty closely aligned, both in in terms of momentum and in terms of value. So we can kind of see why those scores are pretty close together. Uh, and this is why they are they're fairly they're fairly equal. Well, truly is slightly larger and does have a much bigger presence here in Florida. Uh, but I'm going to get to that presence here in just a bit. Now, one thing about True Leave is that its strongest position is in Florida, where it's a clear leader in a billion-dollar market here in the Sunshine State. It commands about 50% of 
uh, of all flower sales in the state. It's also very strong in Arizona and Pennsylvania. In the first quarter of 2022, True Leave recorded $318.3 million in sales, making it the top revenue producer amongst all U.S. multi-state operators that overtook Cureleaf Holdings for the first time uh, as, since they started tracking this, uh, according to Marijuana Business Daily. However, Green Thumb was the only MSO in the U.S. that actually posted a net profit. MSOs uh, in the quarter all uh, all dropped down in terms of did not record any profit with the exception uh, of uh, of Green Thumb, which recorded, I believe, about a $25 million profit uh, for the quarter. Uh, a larger concern for Truly for me here is that they have no position in either New York or New Jersey. These are two states that recently approved adult use cannabis and are going to be a very, uh, they're going to be very big markets for cannabis uh, here in the near future. And right now, Truly doesn't have any position in either of those states at all. Uh, these are sizable markets and not to have a position in either is something to really think about here, uh, especially considering how competitive the Florida market is starting to become uh, for True Leaf. Uh, now, on the other hand, Green Thumb has three Rise dispensaries uh, in New Jersey. Rise is kind of a signature brand. It has three of those dispensaries in New Jersey and three in New York, uh, putting the company in position to profit from these two large markets once uh, they both get their adult use sales in real in, in full in full gear. Overall, in terms of cannabis companies, uh, both True Leaf and Green Thumb do show some potential. Uh, while it's concerning, while it's concerning is True Leaf's lack of market penetration in New York and New Jersey is. The Florida market remains very, very strong. In fact, I think if I remember right, in a previous video, I told you that Florida's cannabis sales overall were the third highest in the country, and they only allow medical sales here in Florida. So uh, it, it is outpacing even those states that have adult use and medical use uh, available. So Florida's market is really strong, and Truly's position in it uh, makes it a clear leader uh, by far. But it is getting a little more competitive. We are seeing a little bit more penetration into the Florida market. Uh, High Tide recently buying into uh, some licenses here. Uh, the state limits its licensing, uh, so there's not a lot of, of massive expansion. However, uh, there is some com competition in terms of where those licenses are going, and it does threaten Truly's position in the state, but only slightly right now. Green Thumb, on the other hand, and has fewer dispensaries, but very strong sales, and it turned a profit, which is really encouraging. Uh, and uh, you know that should be a that should uh, and it could be a trend that continues down the road if the first quarter of 2022 is any indication for Green Thumb. So Shalom, both these companies uh, provide strong results in the long term, and I think believing in them is a very good position for you to be in. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of upturn here in cannabis, just simply because uh, the market is the market sentiment overall is down, and it's really putting a, a lot of heavy pressure on cannabis stocks uh, because the market's just not legal on a federal level yet. So uh, it's not so much focusing on sales uh, or, or anything like that. It's more so on the fact that you're investing in a, in a market that's not legal yet and and retail uh, or in, long-term investors just aren't seeing that potential right now. Uh, so that's why you're seeing a sell-off in cannabis. Uh, and it goes along with the broader market as well with inflation and, and the like. Now, that's all for me this week. If you do have a question about a cannabis stock or the market, just email me. My email address is feedback at moneyandmarkets.com or you can comment right down below here on YouTube. If you send us a question, and we use it in any of our videos. You can ask me, Charles, Adam, any of us. And if we use that question in any of our videos, we're going to send you some free money and markets gear. We've got t-shirts, we've got hats, we've got sweatshirts, we've got all sorts of good stuff. We will send that out your way. Shalom. We're going to be getting in contact with you. My team is going to be reaching out to you uh, to get some contact information to send you some free stuff as well. Don't forget about all the great content we have here on our YouTube channel. It is the best investment insight and it is all yours for free. Also, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to give you uh, more insights, not just into the uh, broader market or cannabis market, but I'm going to share some things as well. I kind of like to follow sports uh, and things like that. So uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My uh, handle there is invest with Matt C. That's invest with Matt C all on Twitter. You follow me. I certainly try to follow you back. That, thank you to everyone who watches our videos each and every week. Uh, Adam, Charles, myself, our entire team, we do it because we want to bring you the best insights, not just into cannabis, but into investing in the economy uh, to help you make smart decisions for your portfolio. And we want to do that to you for you for free. Also check out moneymarkets.com uh, every day for new content to provide safe, sound, smart, simple, profitable investment information just for you. It is there. We update it every single day. I'm Matt Clark, research analyst for Money Markets and the host of the Marijuana Market Update. Until next time, everyone, safe trading.